You know, as long ago as 1968, the authorities issued a report officially denying the existence of UFOs. Why? I don't understand. Why deny it? Why bother? I'll give you a reason. Let's say the authorities had proof, indisputable proof that UFOs had come to Earth. What will be the result if it leaked out? Mass hysteria, terror, a breakdown of authority. So, they issue a report, an official denial, and try to discredit anyone who claims to have seen one. Five years ago, I saw one. Two years later, another. They exist, you've got to believe them. Up there with your brother, I saw something. I believe you. But what are you going to do? Follow my nose. Don't worry. Everybody else thinks I'm a nut. I've got nothing to lose. Where are you going? See you tomorrow. The University of Colorado UFO Project was funded by the United States Air Force from 1966 to 1968. It was directed by physicist Dr. Edward Condon, who was supposedly chosen for his objectivity. However, Condon was a nuclear physicist who had previously come under attack during the Red Scare in McCarthy era by FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover himself. The project became informally known as the Condon Committee. In July 1967, respected atmospheric physicist and ufologist Dr. James E. MacDonald learned from a committee member about a 9 August 1966 memo written by the University of Colorado's assistant dean, Robert J. Lowe. In this memo, he assured two university administrators that they should expect the study to conclude that observations of UFOs had no basis in reality. After acquiring a copy of Lowe's memo from the project's open files, MacDonald wrote to Edward Condon and specifically quoted lines from it, which would expose the bias of the study. As a result of this exposure, on the 30th of April, 1968, NICAP, the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena, cut its ties with the University of Colorado UFO project. Major Donald Kehoe circulated copies of Robert Lowe's memo to further reveal the bias to the public. The committee's final report was delivered to the Air Force in November 1968, and when it was released to the public in January 1969, it had the title, Scientific Study of Unidentified Flying Objects. <laughs>